When we come back, I want to speak with you about an epidemic that has hit Orange County, but it's really systemic. It's not just Orange County. You want to talk about it. I do, too. Her name is Mimi Walters. She's a member of the California State Senate. For our viewers on HLN, we thank you for joining us. For our California Channel viewers, we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're speaking with Mimi Walters, and you have brought me a DVD. The cover is promising, but the content's deafening and devastating. This is a DVD, a documentary called Behind the Orange Curtain. We chuckle about that term, but in this case, it means so much more. My office was uh, contacted by a gentleman and by a woman who's very involved in this film. And the epidemic is about prescription drugs. And uh, teenagers specifically today are um, taking prescription drugs. They're having these parties where they take prescription drugs and they put them into a big bowl and they just take the pills. And it's killing people. My father is a pharmacist. And it is amazing how often I hear about break-ins into pharmacies. The cash registers are left wide open with cash in them. They don't even go to the cash registers, right to the pills. Right. Right to the pills. It's, it's heartbreaking. Well, the problem is, too, is the, the kids don't understand that this is dangerous. They think that because it's prescription drugs, because doctors are the ones prescribing them, that it's okay. And it's not okay. They have no idea about dosing. They have no idea that younger bodies are different than adult bodies. They may be teenagers, but they're still developing. They don't know about mixing alcohol and marijuana and, and pills. I mean, it, it breaks your heart. What did you learn f by speaking with the filmmakers, by watching this DVD? That it was such a big epidemic. And I'm a mom of four kids. And that I, age. I, that age. Right. And I'm pretty in tuned as to what's going on, I thought until I sat down and watched this. Now, I have two kids in college and I have two at home in high school and I sat down and watched this video with my sons. And my sons actually knew some of the kids in this film because they've been going around to the schools and trying to educate the children about prescription drugs. I have to tell you, I think back to when I was in high school. When we were in high school, I mean, admittedly, there's something different about a pill than other consumables. Like you said, you feel as if, oh, it's, it's legal. Yeah, so it's okay. And um, unfortunately, the parents are not aware as to what's going on. I mean, you have a lot of parents who have prescription drugs in their medicine cabinets, and the kids go in and they take the pills, and the parents might not even realize it. And so what we need to do, in addition to educating the children, is we need to educate the parents. And that's what uh, we hope to do. Is there anything that can be done legislatively? I mean, I'm not, you know, we don't necessarily need a nanny state, but still. I mean, th these are lives that are being lost. Yeah. We're actually, my office is looking into it, um, working with the people that I sat down and talked to. We need to have some sort of checks and balances. If, if you know, people, they, they doctor shop. So they go from doctor right. to doctor to doctor to get prescription drugs. Well, we don't have any real mechanism in place to see if people are doing that. And so what we need to look is we need some sort of checks and balances so we make it more difficult for people to have access to prescription drugs, especially if they have a history of abusing them. And what's also frightening is that so often the parents living in well-heeled communities will presume, oh, it would never happen in my neighborhood. Right. Right. And yet, you know, you have hillbilly heroin right in the middle of Dallas, Texas. You have hillbilly heroin right in the middle of Los Angeles or Irvine or wherever it may be. It's happening everywhere. Right. It's not just impoverished communities. And I think one of the reasons um, that Behind the Orange Curtain started was because we started to see so many deaths in Orange County of young people taking, from taking prescription drugs. And so trying to uh, heighten awareness of it um, and now it's it's getting out of control and we really need to do something about it. What did your children say at the end of this movie? Well, they're scared um, and they, they tell me it happens. They've seen it and I think it made them more aware not to ever do it, never take prescription right. drugs unless they actually are prescribed of the course, drug for a reason. Course. And I think that the message got across to them what could actually happen to you if you take the drugs. I mean, they have kids that are interviewed uh, on this video that um, actually almost OD'd, and now they're not 
it's completely same. normal, right. yeah, because yeah. of the effects of the drugs, and that had a powerful impact on my boys. I have to tell you, I am so glad that you brought this to our attention, because so often we get lost in the intricacies of the budget debate or taxes, but these are lives. And um, it's gl I'm glad to see a mother in the, in the Senate yeah. looking into important issues like this. We can never um, forget, those of us who are parents, you know, our number one job is to parent our children. Her name is Mimi Walters, member of the California State Senate. My name is Brad Palmer. We thank you for watching California Edition.